And so, are you ready for an unwieldy event? Chino AI? Put a song! You want a ticket for Hong Kong? Okay, so, on the non-traditional desktop we have less categories, and moreover we have verbals instead of nouns for categories names. For example, it is now develop and non-developer tools as before. You could argue if it is a good or a bad change, but personally I don't believe it matters much. There are superior mechanisms for discovering apps you're potentially interested at, but GNOME misses all those. And in the meantime, getting inside a category the sidebar is vanished like we don't have space, and it gets a search with it too, so we can't even search. And next let's see the logic for this change, because everything in GNOME is evidence-based design. So according to the creator of the non-traditional desktop, too many categories listed on the sidebar, get the interface unwieldy. Wanna see something wieldy? One thing I'd like to have though on GNOME software, and it doesn't make much sense on Mac OS so they can't copy it, is a specific category for GNOME apps only. Which reminds me the reason I'm making fun of the traditional desktop thing. So on the FOSS shell, we have a filter that will only display the adaptive apps, which is pretty much the GNOME apps. But you know what's funny? When someone says that traditional desktop is dead, and then they move everything from the traditional desktop to an actual phone device, 